If you're a student watching this show right now, the next story is for you. If you aspire to study abroad, chances are Canada would be high on your list as a destination. Well, tonight we give you some facts to help you make an informed choice. The Canadian dream has come crashing down. The number of students from India applying to study in Canada has dropped dramatically in the second half of this year. You may think the recent diplomatic row between India and Canada is to blame, but there's more to the story. If you open social media, you will be inundated with videos of students sharing their grievances. They are criticizing the stifling costs of living. They are calling out the lack of opportunities promised. They say they are not happy with the career prospects being offered especially after doling out nearly 19 lakh rupees a year on Canadian education. Here are some statistics. The number of applications for new study permits from India dropped from a total of 145,881 last year to just 86,562 in the same period of 2023. That's a decline of nearly 40%. Indian students in Canada are worried about the lack of job opportunities. This fear is not without reason. Indian students form a major chunk of international students arriving in Canada every year. According to data, in 2022, a total of 226 or 450 students arrived in Canada to pursue higher education. This made India the top source country for new international students entering the country last year. In fact, India had the most student permit holders in 2022 in Canada. But this year, it's a different story. The fall of applications is rooted in what's happening in Canada. A Canadian news outlet provided some insight. It says that youngsters are now calling out the country's poor economic prospects for aspiring international students, for one, the housing crisis. A combination of record high interest rates and low construction means that new housing units are beyond the reach of common Canadians and near impossible to own for immigrants. Government data says there's a shortfall of at least 345,000 housing units across Canada. So what happens to house rents? They are through the roof. Reports say international students have had to live in cramped basement set setups. The same students who came to Canada for better opportunities. Students have shared their experiences online. Many say they are lugging bags, going door to door, trying to find safe accommodation. Those who are lucky enough to find a space end up sharing it with other students in a basement of some house. And reports say they pay as much as $650 for rent. And then there's of course tuition fee. It's no secret that foreign students pay at least three times the tuition fee when compared to Canadian students. Indian students, like other foreign students, are a huge source of revenue for universities. Students and educationists say that they, uh, the flood of students isn't being matched by an upgrade in Canadian infrastructure. This includes housing units, healthcare, mental wellness centers. The integrity of Canada's education system is at stake. This is not what we're saying. In an interview, Canada's Immigration Minister Mark Miller said that he is concerned about the overall integrity of the system that educates thousands of international students and not just the added pressure they put on housing. What happens once students graduate? Are they all offered lucrative pay packages? Far from it. Some blame Canada's liberal visa policies for the lack of jobs. They say the ease of entry into Canada means that a deluge of people come in every year and there are not enough opportunities to sustain them or help them thrive. The row between India and Canada over the killing of a terrorist has put the spotlight on Indians in Canada. Questions are being asked, is the Canadian dream worth it? Should you be going to Canada to pursue higher studies? What happens if you don't get a house to live? Will you get a job once you graduate? Uh, we're well presented. We presented you the facts. Now you make the choice.